So the functionality, the key functionality that Citrix and VMware are talking about when they talk about VDI, and, and, and Citrix version is Zen Desktop, right? VMware's version is Horizon View, right? So end use device, connection broker, this is where my applications run. So virtualized or non-virtualized application space. I mean, you could call it execution farm, you call it what you want. The functionality that really plays into VDI right now is this matching the user that uses this, this end use device up with the stuff they want to run, the applications they want to have access to. Is Excel running over here? Well, I need to get to Excel. How that happens is what the connection broker is responsible for. It says, oh, I have Excel running on these five computers. This one's the most available. So I'm going to run Excel for you as you on this computer and deliver it back to you. Well, that functionality has really been refined now. I mean, they've got all kinds of uh, associated tools, you know, uh, monitoring the, the environment to see what's the best path you know, um, if you're um, external to the environment, a uh, VPN gateway. Um, if you're inside of the environment, I'm watching the processes that are occurring in this farm of servers, and I'm looking for the one that's most available to you. You know, keeping track of where the applications are, spinning up new virtual occurrences of uh, a terminal server, for instance, if I've got too many users and too few servers, I need to spin a new, they handle all that stuff, and that's great. And we work with, with those kind of environments. That's not, it's not that we don't work with them. It's that that connection broker process is their preliminary or, or primary function. It's what they do. Connection broker service is their primary function, and they don't manage the client. That's not their thing. I mean, Citrix does not provide a management interface that says, okay, this client over there, it needs to have the ability to, you know, uh, run three screens. They don't do that. They, they, that's not what they do. They look at it as a user, not as a device. The user is what they're connecting to this execution farm, right? They're connecting the user to the execution farm and using that connection broker to figure out where to make that connection. We say, well, the user is important, but the device is important too. And by the way, the device might be mobile. And if the device is not tethered but mobile, then I perhaps do not want to deliver this content if they're outside of this fence. That's my security fence. I got a security fence. No way am I delivering content to this mobile device if it's outside of this fence. Extremely important. If you don't do that, especially in our manufacturing environment, you're not delivering mobility. That's, that's not a solution that anybody in our environment would accept. Security is extremely important. People are moving through the process. The process could be prone to failure for the least little cause. So you don't want anybody adding to that cause. And then if you look at what we deliver um, for that mobile device, we deliver content, but we manage how it's done, we resolve where it's done and who it's done for, and when you use it with a tether device, so I got a tether device that's on my line, I actually provide some really cool functionality that says, well, if this device comes in range of that device, move the content off to the tether device. Or if it comes in range of that tether device, pull the content off the tether device because now I want to leave with that content and go somewhere else. That ability to provide a full solution on the platform with mobile and tethered clients gives us really unique abilities. I mean, the ability to pull content off of a tethered device and put it onto a mobile device and let somebody move away with it, and then when they leave the fence they're allowed to use it in, it goes back to the tethered device. That, that, is, that is really strong as, as a value proposition in our environments. That's a really strong value proposition. And those are the kind of things that we deliver. And that's, that's where you know, the real differentiator is between us and, say, Citrix or VMware.